Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another Thrifty Thursday with Leslie. I will have her linked down below. This week we are using epoxy stickers and I found these ones in my stash. They're kind of warped. They kind of bend up a little bit. You can tell they're very old. They aren't really old to me. I just got these last year at a kind of a junk store in my hometown. So these might be the only epoxy stickers I own. I'm not sure. So I picked out these for epoxy. I think I pick, did pick up a couple more packs of these when I was back home visiting. But they're, a, they're not a winter. I am going to be doing some winter photos. And then we're doing sequins. So I have this one by 28 Lilac Lane. It is a purple mix. And it is called Vineyard Vineyard Hues. And there's some purple in there. There's some stars. Really cute. I also have this one by Spiegel Mom Scraps. It's called Ferris Wheel. And the reason I pulled out these two colors is because I pulled out this paper pad. We'll flip through it quickly in a minute. And then the third thing we're going to use is shapes. You know, triangles, circles, squares, diamonds, whatever. I chose squares. Um, this is going to be the shape I'm going to be using. I am going to be using a sketch from Page Maps. I think I'm going to do my squares in this background block, but we'll see how that goes. And then I pulled out this winter um, paper pad to do these winter photos. Now, I don't do a whole lot of wintry stuff, but my sister requested that I do some photos of her grandson Camden because I haven't done anything about him for quite some time. And the reason why is because his mom, Erin, used to scrapbook. So... I didn't uh, focus on a lot of his stuff, but my sister has requested some, so that's what we're going to do. So this is the paper pad, and we'll see what we come up with. Be right back. Okay guys, I am going to start by picking out several pattern papers that I think I am going to want to use on this page. I will end up cutting several of them into about two and a half, three inch strips, something like that. This first part of this video is a lot of um, die cutting and uh, inking the edges, so I do cut a lot of it out. I did find this one paper with the solid inside of the paper, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use to map my photos on. I will map those photos again. Here's where I go ahead and cut the strips out. I will take that square die I can't remember what size it is, but I'll kind of lay it on my trimmer to make sure I am cutting the strips big enough to use that die. I just thought that would be easier than to, you know, cut a little piece of paper, die cut it, cut a little piece of paper, die cut it. I just die cut them all in strips. I think I end up using maybe four different patterned papers on this one for the squares. Now it's really funny, like I said in the beginning, I was gonna use the squares on that background part uh, the second background part and I did <laughs> and um, I put the picture over them so most of my squares or a great bit of my squares do get covered up that doesn't bother me I'm okay with that at least I met the challenge with <laughs> using the squares here's where I'm gonna go ahead and map my photo again I did mat it again on a polka dotted paper and then I will mat it again on this dark paper right here now I initially thought I was gonna use this dark paper to go ahead and lay my squares out on but the way I'd cut it because it had all of those trees at the bottom it doesn't end up being big enough so I end up choosing a different piece of paper here's where I'm just gonna go ahead and mat it again it will sit on yet another piece of paper it'll sit on this one in the end you can see right here I'm going to go ahead and start laying my squares out and I can only fit three on it going upwards so I will use a different paper for that. Now the photos I'm scrapbooking these are photos of Cam Camden he is my great nephew he is my niece Erin's son and my sister requested that I do some photos of him so this is going to be one of those photos that I'm going to be doing of him. He is they have built a snowman and then in the second picture he is taking a bite of the snowman so I am going to end up titling them or titling this page this snowman is delicious 
<laughs> Here's where I go ahead and lay them all out. I just didn't want too many of the same ones next to each other. There's really no rhyme or reason how I laid them out. I do ink the edges of all these squares with the chipped sapphire distress ink. It's a really pretty navy. It might be one of my favorites other than the gray one, the hickory smoke that I use a lot. The This chipped sapphire is probably my second favorite. It does take me a little bit of time to lay these out. I am going to cut away from that. I did not use a ruler, so they could be um, crookedish, but that's okay. I did spend quite a bit of time on this layout, much longer than I would have preferred. That's why you are going to be seeing quite a few transitions. It just took a long time, and I did not want a fast-forwarded 30-minute video, so I did cut quite a bit out. So as I said in the beginning, this week we are doing epoxy stickers, sequins, and shapes. Now, <laughs> the sequins also take a bit of time to glue down, so I do cut away from that as well. I will have an issue with my camera shutting off as I'm laying down the sequins, but when it comes back on, you can see where they are laid out. I am using that sketch. It's up in the top right-hand corner, and I do pull a few elements from that. The paper pad that I pulled out, I love it. It is so pretty, but it has polar bears in it, and I kind of wish it had snowmen, right? Because in this photo, he is um, with a snowman, so I just thought that would work a little bit better. I don't end up getting a snowman on here. Well, that's not true. I do end up getting one snowman on here by way of one of the epoxy stickers, so that was pretty fun. I also end up pulling in some Jolie's Boutique stickers, and some of them do have that um, glossy coating like an epoxy sticker. So I do think some of them are epoxy. I am not 100% sure though. It didn't say that on the pack. Some of the other snow flakes that are in that same collection are definitely not epoxy. They're more like a, a plastic. So I am sticking with a sketch very, very closely. Right here I did cut out this banner that I'm going to put right here into the photo. I did ink edges with that chipped sapphire on this one as well. I'm still using that tape from Tape Jungle, and it does seem to be working a little better. I think maybe the beginning of the roll, which was the first roll I used, might have been, I don't know, um, defective in some way. I went ahead and decided to put the last part of my title on a banner. Now when I first thought I was going to put my title down, it was right there where the sketch is, where the title is over on the right hand side. I will move that over to the left hand side and also I will use some other stickers to put this so this snowman is and then the delicious is in those um, Fitzgerald font. The This Snowman is, I think that's a Heidi Swap font. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, it could be Amy Tan. I'm not 100% sure. I have not seen Leslie's page for this week for this challenge. Make sure you hop over there and see what she came up with. I will be doing the same thing. Her layouts are always really fabulous. I can't wait to see what she does with sequins in particularly. For me... A lot of people take sequins and do shaker pockets, but I don't like that on a layout. So for me, I basically just lay them out. You can see up there at the top of that sketch, there's this like um, a light, a string of lights that go across. I am going to do that with my sequins at the top. And then I'm also going to do it at the bottom under delicious. Part of that is going to be cut out. On this pack right here with all these epoxy stickers, there were these little round ones that had snowflakes in them. I love them, but I wasn't able to make them work with all of the sequins I have went ahead and pulled out and used. So I don't end up getting those round snowflakes on there, but those might be my favorite stickers of all of these epoxy stickers. You can see at the top where I stuck with the square theme and put a square up there. I am going to label or layer a, an epoxy sticker on top of that. It says chili. Now you can see right here where it cut away and came back where all those sequins are. The sequins aren't um, glued down yet. I will do that here in a minute. I am going to go ahead and pop the bottom of this banner up on some foam tape. This banner that says delicious on it. Now some of the sequins I used, 
I'm not sure. I think they came out of the purple pack, but they're super duper tiny and clear. And I thought those would work perfectly with this background paper that is just all these white dots. They're supposed to, be, I guess it's supposed to be snow falling, right? So I thought those really teeny tiny clear ones are, they do give it a little something extra that's special, but you can barely see them. And then they were so hard to glue down here. I'm messing with one because they're so tiny. I can't hardly use it on my finger. I have to use the tip of my tweezers to kind of stick it down in the glue. Now I was a little concerned that some of this glue would show through because they are so small that the white in my glue, I mean it's bigger than the circumference of that teeny tiny sequin. But after it dried, you'll see the close-up photos at the end. You can't even see the glue at all. So that was really fabulous. I was really happy about that. Here's where I go ahead and pull out the, the Jolie's Boutique stickers. And the one that I put on the corner of the photo and the one that is in the top right, that one right there, I think those are the ones that have a epoxy feel to me. They're really glossy on the top and pretty firm. After I do that, I am going to take my chipped sapphire and just rub it on some plastic, water it down, and take a paintbrush and do some uh, blue splatters around the page. They do come out very faint, and I actually quite like that. It looks really nice. After I do that, I am not going to do anything else to this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure you hop over and check Leslie out. I will have her linked down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.